He, that is a, that's a handful. So, with that, because five UCLs, it's amazing. It's unprecedented. So, on the face of it, you're like, bro, it's five Champions Leagues. I know it's a World Cup, but it's five Champions Leagues. And it's five Champions Leagues, and I was part of a 3 P. But it's the World Cup. The World Cup is football's greatest prize. The Champions League is not football's greatest prize. It isn't. It's one of the major prizes of football, same as your league title, but the number one prize that every single soul wants to win is a World Cup. So for me, yes, what the five years is amazing. You're in a very special club and Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest Champions League player of all time. You have to accept that based on the goals he scored, the records is broken, the trophies he's won, his involvement in those trophies, his goals in those UCL finals, he is the greatest Champions League player of all time. So it would be hard to trade that for a World Cup. But for me, and this is my main thing, if you're German or you're Italian, okay, I win one, okay, it's, it's Germany's fifth now. I win, for, I, I win one for France, okay, it's, it's France's third now. But for Cristiano, if you win it for Portugal, you'll be remembered as Portugal's first ever World Cup winner. Because there's, there's, there's still some people in Portugal who still revere Eusebio more than Cristiano, just based on just Eusebio's performance in that 66 World Cup. So to turn on the chance of being the man who led Portugal to their very first World Cup, it's been deleted. It's been, it's been deleted. This is crazy that they post this. And I am a Felix fan. But to post, because I I don't think the Barcelona accounts actually... And also remember, this is... Because this, this, this is the... I think this is the official one. This is the Spanish one. Because this is FC Barcelona. Yeah, so this is the, the official Barca one. So I don't think that they, they realized, first of all, how important Cruyff is to Barcelona and how people think about Felix. So I think once they saw all of the comments, they were like, wait a minute, you're putting Felix next to freaking Cruyff. And even some people who are even happy that, Cruyff, that, that Felix is here, you're putting him next to Cruyff? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So I can understand the thinking behind it and the psychology of like, hey, man, you know, it's a similar pose. There's a bit of excitement from about what Felix could potentially do. Also, he was doing a Cardi B and twerking for Barcelona. Hey, come on, man. And I and I just think that it's also in good nature. They really thought that people would be like, oh, wow, you know, Croy, Felix and everything. But I think people's responses were not fully sold on Felix. For you to go, there had to be a really big reason. And because they offered you crazy amounts of money. And you're like, yes, I am going to readjust my lifestyle and move to Saudi Arabia because this amount of money is crazy. And for my family to roll up in Saudi Arabia and play the game that I love for two years or so and make crazy amounts of money, hell yes. Hell yes. So, Hendo, you're not fooling anybody. You moved because of the cheddar. You moved because of the money. Okay? And also, there were not clubs tripping over themselves trying to sign you. Nobody, nobody was, was, was trying, trying to sign you. Liverpool have improved exponentially without you. Like, bro, look, look at what Shabushla and McAllister is doing. You're thinking, that, man, why the hell were they? <laughs> like, Henderson was really holding this club back <laughs> a lot. So, Hendo, and it's, here's the thing, it's fine. That's why I love what Ruben Neves said. Ruben Neves was like, bro, yeah, I moved because of the, the money. And that's reality. And, there's nothing bad about that. You see, club football is about making money. This isn't about, okay, lots of My man, Pele, always said it like, you know, club football is fickle. You're kissing the badge of one team one season, kiss the badge of another team one season. It's fickle by nature, and that's fine. I can't even play devil's advocate here. You see, look, it's, it's a grab. It's a grab. You see, one thing could be like, oh, you're touching that area there. It's a grab. I mean, this, I mean, if you just look at this image, let me, let's have an, exp let's just, let's expand this image. Guys, that's a grab. 
That's he is grabbing it. He that is a that's a handful. It's a handful. So if you're doing this in public, oh yeah, celebration. Imagine what was happening behind closed doors. So no wonder so many of these Spanish women actually went through. But I find it crazy that the guy was under all this pressure, did this in public, and I ended up getting sacked. I mean, how do you get sacked after winning a World Cup? It's crazy, but bro, how do you grab so what's the, like okay, see, my thing is that okay, does anyone here believe that this is just a mistake? Mourinho manager, hey, Casillas in goal. Agreed. I don't agree with Roberto Carlos left back. Fabio Cannavaro, surely you can get it. Surely you can have a better. I would put, I'd, I'd, I'd throw Cavajal in there. I'd throw Cavajal over Fabio Cannavaro. And also remember, Cannavaro wasn't that great for Real Madrid. Araujo and Ramos. You see, Araujo is that's a bit too early. Ramos, yes. You've got to go with Puyo. Um, get Kaka the hell out of there. Get Kaka the hell out of there. So, I think what you do there is get Kaka the hell out of there. Busquets as a DM, Javi, Iniesta, and I think that's and and and, and I'm cool with our front three. I'm cool with our front three. Although I'd probably put Dino where Messi is. Messi a little bit just behind Cristiano and Cristiano as a front. So Cristiano as a full front man, Messi just a little bit behind him. And Dino in that number 10 position. So Dino and Messi are like two like half tens. You know, like like so so they are both two half tens and Ronaldo is just the out and out goal scorer. So pretty much Messi and Dino are like supplying and creating for Cristiano. Like guys, Kaka was horrible for Real Madrid. How the hell is he in here? And how the hell you see Roberto Carlos? Let's be Roberto Carlos made his name because of that freak that he that he scored. You can't have Roberto Carlos in in there above Jessica Alba or Marcelo, pick one. Personally, I'm picking Marcelo. I know some guys will say, well, look, Alba was more consistent specific with the league. I'm picking um, Marcelo. You've got to go with Puyo. I think Araujo, he just got here. Araujo just got here. So you've got to go with um, Puyo. Um, and you no, know, you can't have kind of First of all, Canavaro is a central defender. He doesn't even play out there on the right. So out there on the right, um, I'd, I'm worried with Cavall. Oh, no. I knew I was going to say Daniel Alves. Hey, 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 come on, come, okay, come on. See, whoever made this is on is drunk. You know what? Whoever whoever made it, I think, might be a massive Madrid bad because. First of all, what is Kaka doing there? And Cannavaro and Kaka should be nowhere near this freaking team. So Danny Alvin's plays off Cannavaro. Um, you can either have Alba or um see you can either have Alba or what's his face? You can either have Alba or Alba or Marcelo in place of Roberto Carlos. Get Kaka the heck out of there. Busquets at the base, Javi Iniesta, Araujo, get him out of there, Putin Puyo. Cassius, that's cool. Guys, I'm keeping Mourinho. I'm keeping Mourinho. So watch the rest of this vid and gain access to more content crack. Think about becoming a Patreon member. Click the link below in the description box or head over to patreon.com forward slash half hope and gain access to more content crack. Let's ride.